We should be getting used to this by now. I've got copies of the Monokuma file too for everyone. Alrighty then, catch your cats later. Best of luck on your investigation! Investigation? You mean we have to go through that again? We have to... examine our friend's body. We have to... suspect one another. I can't do it. I can't handle going through that again. I'm with Hina! I don't want to do it! I'm out of here! How about you get the hell over it already? Blood is just liquid, and a dead body is nothing but an object. Wow, aren't you just Mr. Gung-Ho? And why the hell wouldn't I be? I'm dead if I don't figure out who killed her. Well, well yeah, you're right, but I need time to... What? Do you want to die? Then do it, and do it quick. You're wasting precious oxygen. It is cold. That body an object? That kid, Fujisaki, is not a fucking object! And I will not let you get away with your disrespect! Don't jump down each other's throats. Togami isn't necessarily incorrect. Kiri Kiri! Our lives are in danger if we don't solve this murder and find out who killed Fujisaki. And, if Togami's theory is correct, and Genocide or Show really is the culprit, we could have more bodies on our hands if we don't do something. <laughs> Not just more bodies. We can potentially all become victims. <laughs> fear not, fear not. For our academic calcium, a single villain is allowed to kill a maximum of two people. Huh? Was that in the rules? As of right now, it sure is. If one person went around killing a bunch of people, you guys wouldn't get to enjoy life here very long. Then why not set the limit to one? Because as far as mystery stories go, serial killer on the loose in the academy. That's a nice range of <laughs> One victim does not a serial killing make. We're all for real this time. I'll be seeing you again soon for the class trial. I don't understand his logic, but if two is the limit, then that means, at most, one more of us could fall victim to the killer. What a shame that would be. We'd best find the culprit before that happens then. You can shut your fucking trap! Uh, anyway, me and Ishimaru are going to escort Fukawa to her room. We should get started on the investigation too. We don't have time to waste dilly-dallying. If we cannot ascertain who murdered Chihiro Fujisaki, the rest of us will be executed in their place. She's right. I hate this. I don't want to do it. But if I want to stay alive, if I want to make it through this with everyone, I have... I have no choice! First, I should see what the Monokuma file has to say. Victim, Shihiro Fujisaki. Time of death, approximately 2 o'clock a.m. The corpse was discovered in the women's changing room on the second floor of the school zone. The cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Death occurred instantaneously. That's all the information he's giving us. Complaining isn't going to get me anywhere, though. Whether I like it or not, I gotta do this. Hey, Nyagi, you have a second? Huh? Y you need me for something? Of course. How dull would your life be if you were never needed? Um, okay. What can I do for you? Help with my investigation. Huh? I'm enlisting your aid. The aid of the man who solved Sayaka Maizono's murder. S solved I was just... I chose you because you are someone I can make good use of. You will help with my investigation. He's pressuring me pretty hard for what I thought was supposed to be a request. 
Let's begin. Hold on. Shut up and get to it. We don't have time to screw around. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what just happened. But it looks like Togami and I are working together. Or something. There's a dumbbell on the floor. And there's blood on it! There's blood on the dumbbell! The Monokuma file says her cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Which would make this dumbbell the murder weapon? That's the only reasonable conclusion. There's a blood spatter on the poster. It must have happened when the killer attacked Fujisaki. All the life has drained from her body. All that's left is her corpse. Fujisaki's corpse. The more I look at it, the more bizarre it seems. So this is genocide at show's work. But we haven't... We haven't concluded that Genocide Show is responsible? Is that what you're trying to say? I wouldn't be so sure about that. <laughs> There's a fresh-looking blood stain on the carpet. This must have happened during the murder. I can hardly believe Fujisaki was murdered in this very changing room. I was here just yesterday. I do wonder why she was killed in the changing room of all places. Actually, no. It's possible she was killed somewhere else and brought here after the fact. Indeed. She is rather light. It would not be difficult to move her body after killing her. However, I believe she brought herself here on her own two feet. What makes you think that? These past few days, she frequently spoke of wanting to strengthen her body. So you think Fujisaki came here to work out? But the Monokuma file says she was killed at approximately 2 o'clock a.m. Would she really be working out that late? She was likely trying to avoid running into Asahina or myself. We often work out here during the day. She was avoiding you? Both Asahina and I invited her to work out with us on numerous occasions, but she always refused. I can only assume she was avoiding us. So she came here to work out by herself, in the middle of the night? I find it hard to believe she was alone. She wanted to start working out, but she said she was unable to do so by herself. She said she wanted someone to assist her. So you're saying Fujisaki came to the changing room to work out, in secret, in the middle of the night. And she didn't come alone? It is a possibility. That kid had one hell of a complex about being weak. You heard, didn't you? Always saying... Gotta get stronger. I do remember her saying that, yeah. Kid was trying to build some muscle, get stronger, and then this. Though, was there really any need for her to get stronger in the first place? You said it yourself. There's nothing wrong with girls being weak. Beats me. I don't know everything that was going through that kid's head. I'm kind of curious where the source of Fujisaki's complex lies. All right, let's get moving. Huh? Already? We're not going to learn anything by staying put. We need to examine this case from many different angles. I get that, but... If you understand, then start moving. He's more than a little pushy, huh? It's like he thinks he has me on a leash. Alright, we'll investigate here next. Huh? 
Does this room have anything to do with the murder? Uh, use your head. Where's the fun in relying on others for everything? <sighs> As I recall, you need to use your Electro ID on this card reader to open the door, don't you? Is there something you're not sure about? Then why don't you ask Monokuma directly? As soon as the words left his mouth, Togami clapped his hands twice. How may I be of service? Has Togami tamed Monokuma? It seems Nyagi has a question for you. Sure, stop. Um, about these card readers. The card readers only respond to you guys' Electra IDs. But watch out! You can only enter the changing room that corresponds with the Electra ID owner's you gender. You also said it was impossible for two people to enter together, did you not? Any sexual terrorist attempting to do so will find themselves with far more orifices than they can fill. Courtesy of Mr. Gatling Gun up there. It's also against the rules to lend your Electro ID to someone else, isn't it? that's the case, then only girls can enter the women's changing room, and only guys can enter the men's. Which is to say, since we found Fujisaki's body in the women's changing room... Oy vey, I can see right through you, Nyagi. You can... see through me? This is what you're thinking, isn't it? Since the corpse was discovered in the women's dressing room, the culprit had to have gone inside. In other words, one of the girls killed her. But you're just reaching for low-hanging fruit. Is that wrong? Take a good, close look at the school rules. This is what they say. You are forbidden from lending your Electro ID to anyone. The rules prohibit the act of lending, but not of borrowing. the Togami group, you found the loophole in the rule. This is you we're talking about. I'm sure you left the loophole on purpose to make things more interesting. Oh, you didn't even break a sweat. You're kicking all sorts of ass today. Here's a freebie. Not only can the dead not defend themselves, they don't even count as people. If you catch my drift. Hold on. You said there was a loophole. But doesn't, uh, borrowing someone's Electro ID also count as them lending it to you? Yawn! You're making me sleepy! Take a cue from Togami over there and put a little punch into your words! As punishment, I'm giving you the cold shoulder! q and A, Zelber, think for yourself! I suppose I have no choice, my slightly disappointing partner in crime. I'll explain in his stead. Come on, we're going to the entrance hall. The entrance hall? You'll see when we get there. Well, here we are. What is it that you wanted me to see here, Togami? I guess I'm on my own. There's a letterbox here. Maybe there's something inside. Are these Electro IDs? Not just one, but three! Why here of all places? Sounds like you found them. What? You knew these were here? I just recently happened upon them myself. It seems Electro IDs are returned to this letterbox when their owners die. So you're saying these Electro IDs belong to Enoshima, Kuwata, and Maizono? You have eyes. Use them. I 
grab one of the Electro IDs and try turning it on. You were right. This is my Zono's Electro ID. Now, do you understand what we meant when we were talking about the loophole and the rule? Yeah, I think so. Take a good, close look at the school rules. This is what they say. You are forbidden from lending your Electro ID to anyone. The rules prohibit the act of lending, but not of borrowing. So this is what he was talking about. Hmm? What happened? Is something wrong? That's strange. One of these Electro IDs won't boot up. You mean it's broken? Whose is it? The other Electro ID says it belongs to Junko and Oshima. So that means the broken one is Kawada's? In that case, I'm not surprised. With how many baseballs it had slammed into it. Slammed with baseballs? The memory of that moment came rushing back. Of the horrid execution that took his life. Of that tasteless production the Puppet Master made. Of the end of a human being's life. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me either, if it broke after all that. What's your problem? Your Electro ID is a key item integral to your life here in the Academy. So don't go thinking smack you get around with a few balls or anything is gonna break it. But it actually... I said it won't, so it won't. It can easily withstand having a 10 ton anvil dropped on it. And 100 meters below sea level is cake. Doesn't matter how many baseballs you throw at it, it's not gonna break! No way, Jose! However, even the almighty Electro ID has one weakness. Weakness? That's classified. Can't have you going around breaking yours because I blurred it down. So Kawada unwittingly stumbled upon this weakness and broke his Electro ID? Who knows? If you ask me, I don't think his Electro ID is broken. Knows, and then Monokuma disappeared, leaving us to ponder the meaning of this extremely suggestive commentary. What was that all about? Monokuma says Kawada's Electro ID isn't broken, but we have it right here, and it won't start up. It's not all that important. At the very least, it has nothing to do with the murder. Is it really irrelevant? Something tells me that might not be the case. Well, that should do it for preliminary. I'd say it's time we started doing some real investigation. Ripping the mask off this psychopath. You mean, whoever killed Fujisaki? Not exactly. What? Not exactly? What do you mean, not exactly, Togami? Well, yes, I do want to find the culprit. To be more precise, what I really want to do is uncover Genocide or Show's true identity. So you really think... Genocide or Show killed Fujisaki? Of course I do. There's no doubt in my mind the culprit is Genocide or Show. Genocide or Show is that homicidal maniac, right? Who else would it be? He's a villainously brutal and demented serial killer. He chooses his victims at random and without warning. The police can't find a pattern. The internet has dubbed the suspect of these serial murder cases... Genocide's show. The idea that his victims number in the thousand is obviously just an urban legend. 
But still, you're seeing that one of us is that psychopathic serial killer? Precisely. But that's insane. I have undeniable proof, and I'm going to show it to you. I can say with certainty that Genocide Show is somewhere in this building. With certainty? Really? When we're done here, I'm going to take you somewhere to show you proof. That it was Genocide Show who killed Chihiro Fujisaki. Proof? Does he actually have proof? Hey, guys! Th there's trouble. Help! We're busy. Get out of here. It's an emergency. An emergency. Help, please! Get your asses over here! Help, please! It's an emergency! It's an emergency! An emergency! Help, please help! Asahina, relax! Don't you tell me to relax! It's an emergency! What's the emergency? Fukawa's in trouble. She's acting funny. Actually, she's been acting funny. What do you want to do, Togami? Toko Fukawa, huh? I'm a little concerned about her. Let's go see how she's doing. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. I have to say, I didn't expect that. I totally thought he'd blow her off. Come on! Hurry, hurry! Uh, hold on, Asahina! It looks like she was heading for the dorms, probably Fukawa's bedroom. Got it! Asahina said Fukawa had some sort of emergency. Sheesh, you guys are such slow pokes! You're just too fast! They could run circles around you! So, what's the problem? After what happened in the changing room, me and Ishimaru brought Fukawa to her room to rest. A little while later, I thought I'd check up on her. But she was acting kind of strange. She absolutely refused to leave her room, and she was mumbling all sorts of weird things. What do you mean, weird? Why don't you try talking to her yourself? Uh, Alright. I guess I'll try the bell. The door slid open without a sound. <laughs> oh, whoa! The negative aura that spilled through the crack in the door almost knocked me off my feet. Asahina was worried about you, because you locked yourself in here. Leave me alone. Uh... Would you at least open the door for me? I... won't let her run free. Huh? I will not let Genocide her show! Run free! She slammed the door in my face. Wh what She was like that when I came by earlier, too. I'll banish that accursed homicidal maniac! I have no idea what she's going on about. 
But I was scared to just leave her like that, so I tried forcing the door open. But it looks like she's barricaded the door, and I couldn't get it open any farther. Fika was so frightened, she barricaded herself in her room. Does she have the same idea as Togami? That it was the serial killer genocide of Show who murdered Fujisaki. Is that why she's so scared? I'm really worried about her. I wonder if there's anyone who can talk her out of there. about her. Are you really making me say the same things again, Naegi? Come on. Just turn over to the... to... to the... to the... Yes, there you go. Hey, there you go. Togami, would you mind giving it a shot? See if maybe you can convince her to leave her room. I suppose. 